So uh, today, uh, everyone wants to have uh, high scalability and virtually zero downtime. Uh, in that case, uh, Kubernetes is here to rescue us. And with the increasing demand of Kubernetes, uh, it, it is really great that uh, we enable Colibor Online uh, to be able to deploy on the Kubernetes. And today, I'll show how to do that. Uh, how it works. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, we can deploy Colibor Online as any other uh, general application. Uh, you, you just set, uh, we have provided the configuration, and you just uh, uh, make service available, and you connect with the service, and then there are as many pods as you want. And those are different instances of the Colibor. But uh, Colibora would not work as a simple application. Why? Because uh, when you are using Colibora online with collaborative editing features, these pods do not communicate with each other. So suppose uh, two different users are opening the same document at, at the same time, there are chances that one request would go to this pod and another request would go to this pod. And because they do not communicate with each other, none of the user would be able to see that another person is editing the same document at the same time. So both the user will be able to edit it and save it, but they won't be able to see each other. And to see the changes, they have to reload the document, which is quite not good thing for the users. So in that case, uh, in the Colibora Online, when you are trying to use Colibora Online in Kubernetes, ingress is not an optional thing. It, it becomes mandatory, and we have to use it for the load balancing. We load balance it based on the uh, URL parameter, WAPI SRC. For the same document, uh, all the, for the same document, WAPI SRC parameter is always going to be the same. So we decide uh, if the WAPI SRC parameter is same, then all the requests for that parameter should go into the same pod. So the collaborative editing feature would work properly in that case. And then uh, the entire structure would look something like this. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I am going to show a little demo and uh, show how e easy it is to uh, deploy Colibra online on the uh, on the Kubernetes. First and foremost thing is uh, we have to get started with the Minikube. I'm using Minikube for the demonstration here. Uh, so that is the very first thing. The second thing we would like to do here is uh, enable the ingress once we are up and running. By the way, all these instructions can be found on the uh, Colibora SDK. Don't hesitate to increase your, your font size on your console if you if you can. With Control Plus, it should do the trick if you... Yes, our mouse will. Thanks. I hope uh, it is visible now. Uh, this is an optional thing. You can also skip it, but I like to keep all the things in one namespace, related things. And the last thing uh, we we have to do is uh, install the ham chart. And we, we have already provided that all the configuration and it's up and running. Now let's just check how it is going. Uh, usually uh, this takes, uh, pod takes a couple of minutes 
to get up and running. And meanwhile, I think I have time. And if there are any questions, I can take it. Yes. 